Welcome to Q&A with Adam K. Today's question comes two hours ago from Chris Craven. Adam, can you do a quick Q&A on the Web Intersect tutorials that you did at the end? A plus sign won't be added. I'm really confused as to why it is not being added to the database. So the problem Chris is having is that he can't get a plus sign inserted into his MySQL database from his HTML forms and he's using Ajax to post that data to PHP and PHP is inserting the data into MySQL but he's losing the plus sign and this is an issue that I've run across in the past and it's an issue that a lot of programmers are going to run into when they're trying to put special characters in their database when they're processing them from an HTML form because what happens is that the plus symbol is going to get converted to a space symbol if it's not properly encoded or if you haven't converted it to a special string so what we'll do is we'll throw together a simple example that shows how the symbol gets changed to a space and it's not being transferred over to PHP correctly and then we'll put a little fix into place for it and it just takes a couple of lines of code to fix it okay here's the little example that I slapped together that's going to show you how the plus symbol gets lost when it's transferred over to PHP from your form processing and what it has in it is a simple Ajax request that sends this form field value over to PHP for processing so what happens when this submit button is pressed this process form function fires off and it grabs the Google Plus vanity input data from that field and it uses an Ajax request to send that to PHP and our PHP file is called parsefile.php let's take a look at parsefile.php all we're doing is seeing if the posted variable is set and then we're going to echo back the data back to JavaScript or back to our Ajax request and you'll see that the plus sign or some other characters that we might put in get lost and our goal is to preserve that plus sign or some kind of special characters so I'm gonna put these two files on my live web server and then I'm going to run this page with form.html and you'll notice that all this Ajax request does is see when the data is returned from PHP and then it puts that data into the status element down on the page and you can see I have a span with an ID of status right here right next to the submit button so that's where the data returned from PHP is going to display okay here's the application on my live web server and what I'm gonna do is put in a Google Plus vanity URL for instance mine at Google Plus is Adam Corey and it has a plus sign leading it so my plus sign has to be submitted through the form and saved into the database So let's see when I submit this to PHP and PHP sends it back let's see what I get you'll see that I'm missing the plus sign and it was converted into a space now the loss of that character came not when I tried to put it into MySQL or anything like that MySQL will in, will take in a plus sign or any other characters just fine and sometimes it has to escape certain characters but that's not the point of this the point of this is that the plus sign is being lost over the transfer from Ajax to PHP or when the form is submit to PHP over the URL encoded variables that's when it's getting lost so you can fix that whole problem before you even make any inserts into MySQL database you can fix that whole issue with just a couple of lines of code so what we'll do is go into our Ajax request and right after we get the value for whatever the person put into the form field right after we get that value into this G variable we're going to replace that string the G whatever is in the G variable if there's any plus signs in it we're going to convert that plus sign to this string this custom string and I just used like BB code format to throw the word plus sign in between brackets so that string is going to be put into place wherever any plus signs are found in that value so let's save that and run this on our live server I'm going to refresh the application I'm going to try again I'll put in plus Adam Corey for my Google Plus vanity URL string submit and now you see I get back from PHP that little string that converted the plus sign to my special BB code plus so now all I have to do is replace anywhere there's a, this string found in PHP when the form processes anywhere where this string is found convert that back to a plus sign so let's go into our parse file and right before we echo the data back to the Ajax request we're going to replace that string 
for the BB code formatted plus to an actual plus sign. And then we're going to use preg replace. Remove any other characters that are in the string. And you use this before you insert into MySQL to sanitize the data. This will make sure that there can only be a plus sign, a dot, an underscore, letters, and numbers. There can't be any other funky characters in that string. But it will allow plus sign to be submit into the database along with these other characters here specified. And then we're just going to echo back the variable G since it's all cleaned and converted at that point. For this example, we're just going to echo it back to our Ajax request to show you how it, everything is preserved and converted correctly now. Okay, so I'll go back to my web server, refresh the application, and try again. I'll put in plus Adam Corey, submit, and now I get back a plus Adam Corey. And this is what it'll go into your database looking like with the normal plus character. And MySQL has no problem storing that character. The whole problem comes when it's transferred from the form to your PHP. And you can see how we put a solution for that in place. And it just took uh, three extra, actually it was two lines of code. One line here to replace this string back to a plus sign. And then in your JavaScript, you put this one line here to replace the value from the form, any special characters that you want, you can convert them to anything that you want any special string and then when this data gets to PHP that's when you actually turn it to the symbol that you want using string replace okay Chris I hope that helps alleviate your issue and helps you understand better where your plus sign is getting lost and this is an issue that a lot of programmers deal with when they're programming forms and saving all that form data into databases and it doesn't have anything really to do with the web intersect tutorials this is a general issue that everybody has to deal with